Hi friends, welcome to this morning pranayama routine. These are yogic breathing exercises or sometimes called breath work to cleanse and recharge. This is a full practice that you can do every day. You can do this before or after your yoga asana practice. I personally love doing this before meditation, but you can also do it as a standalone practice. If you have never practiced before, you can join this practice anyway, but if you're looking for more instructions, I recommend you check out my other video, which has a tutorial part with a lot of information on these exercises. I will link the video at the top of the screen. You do not need anything apart from a quiet space and a comfortable seat. You wanna be sitting nice and upright with a tall spine in this very dignified kind of posture, a posture of wakefulness. You could be sitting on the ground. I'm sitting on a yoga block. Maybe you have a cushion or you could also sit on a chair. If you are pregnant, there is only one exercise that I'm going to ask you to skip. Otherwise, you can just go ahead, be very gentle on yourself and enjoy this practice. We begin by resting our hands on the legs. Maybe you wanna bring your palms facing up in a gesture of receiving and bring the index finger and the thumb, the tips of the fingers together for a hand mudra. This is the gesture of wisdom, of knowledge. And then go ahead and close your eyes if you're comfortable. If closing the eyes is not an option for you, then just lower your gaze and take a moment to withdraw from the screen. Give your eyes a moment to rest. Give yourself a moment to settle and arrive in this moment. And just withdraw yourself from everything that has happened already today, everything that is planned for later, and draw all your energies now to your center, to your body, to this moment. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. And gently side out through the mouth. Twice more. Deep inhale through the nose. Releasing breath out through the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nose. And set it free. And then close the lips. Allow your breath to flow naturally and give your full attention to this natural flow of your breath. Just observe with a lot of curiosity, with a lot of attention, all the sensations that the natural breath brings with it. Where in the body can you feel the breath? Maybe there is a gentle stream of air at the tip of your nose. There is a gentle rising and falling of the chest, of the abdomen. Just observe. No need to change anything or control the breath for now. Just become fully aware of your breathing. you sit and breathe, just take a moment to scan the body and see if you're holding tension anywhere. Make sure you soften your jaw and your forehead. Relax the shoulders. Relax the chest. And then go ahead and relax your abdomen. Often holding a lot of tension in the area of our abdomen and the belly. Just allow it to really relax. And then observe how it may move with the breath just a little more than it did before. And then gradually allow your breath to deepen and guide the breath all the way down there into that relaxed abdomen. And out from the abdomen. So you inhale through the nose all the way down into the belly and you start to really inflate the belly, blow it up like a balloon as you inhale. 
And as you exhale, you gently want to contract. That means you draw the belly in towards the spine as you exhale for a few full, deep abdominal breaths. If this supports you, you can move one hand or two hands onto the belly and direct the breath into the area where you feel the palm. Somewhere around the navel, rather below the navel. And just take a few of these soothing, deep belly breaths. Throughout the day, we often breathe shallowly, not really using the capacity of our lungs. So just try and allow yourself to breathe a bit more fully without too much effort, no strain here. Just allow the belly to gradually relax, the breath to gradually expand. And we'll further expand the breath. You can bring the second hand up to your heart or you can keep the hands rested on the legs. You keep breathing into the belly, but as you inhale fully, you wanna breathe in further, open up the rib cage. You breathe all the way up into your chest. And as you exhale, feel the chest lower, feel the ribs moving towards each other and draw the belly gently in. It's kind of like a three-stage breath. Inhale into the belly. Inhale into the chest. All the way up to the clavicular bones. Exhale from the clavicular bones, your lower neck, to the ribs, to the abdomen. Inhale, belly, ribs. Chest, exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Continue. This breathing is called Dirga Pranayama or full yogic breath. And pranayama is often translated as breath control, but it means so much more. Prana is life force, the energy that is innate in everything. It's not just the breath. And yama means control, but ayama actually means expansion. So we're expanding not just our breath, but our life force, our vital energy. Really invite these ideas into this breathing, creating a lot of space, filling yourself with all this energy. Last full breath. And once you exhale fully, release either both hands or keep the lower hand on your belly and just bring the upper hand back down. You can always blink your eyes open if you're not quite sure. Just take a moment as you settle back into your natural breathing pattern and observe how the breath feels now. No control here, simply observation. Does the breath feel differently? And then we move into our next breathing exercise, which is actually a cleansing exercise. If you've never done Kapalbhati, forehead shining practice, you can blink your eyes open. We will inhale softly and then exhale strongly, forcefully through the nose by pulling the abdominal muscles in. This is why you can keep your low hand on the belly. So you inhale softly and then you throw the air out. It's kind of like you want to blow your nose or even blow out a candle. And we do this in a rhythmic manner. The inhalation happens very naturally. The inhalation happens very naturally. So you inhale, throw air out, and the inhale happens again. Throw out, inhale happens naturally. Throw out, yeah. We do this in a rhythm. We do about three rounds. Just go as often as feels good and you can always go a bit slower or faster. So close the eyes back down, one hand on the belly or just rest the hands on your legs. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Soft breath out through the nose. And then take a soft breath in about two thirds of the capacity of your lung. And begin pumping the belly. Really exhale, exhale, exhale. Continue throwing the air out and allowing the inhale to come naturally. We go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the last one. Exhale all the air out. And then take a deep inhale. Full exhale. Soft inhale for round two. And begin exhaling. <laughs> Ten, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, all the air out. Full breath in. Releasing breath out. And you can choose to rest or do one more round. Gentle breath in and start pumping. You can go in your own rhythm. You can go a bit faster. You can go a bit slower. And if you start to feel dizzy, always take a rest. Breathe naturally. There's not too much force involved. Just cleansing, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. We do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale all the air out. Let the breath come in. And only maybe hold the breath at the top if you're comfortable with that. Bring the chin down to the chest. Draw the muscles between the legs in and up. And just observe what happens in the body. Your attention is at the point between your eyebrows. This practice is called skull shining practice or forehead shining practice. Maybe you can feel a tingling sensation or a coolness, a clarity. Whenever you want to exhale, just lift the head, release the pelvic floor and return to your natural breath. How does the breath feel now? How does the mind feel now? Just sit with your natural breath and observe. Do not evaluate or judge. And when you're ready, you can blink the eyes open so I can show you our last exercise to really balance our energies. We've been cleansing, activating. This is kind of a heating exercise. And now we do something very balancing that will recharge us and balance our energies. This exercise is called alternate nostril breathing or anulom vilom. We do this without any breath retention, otherwise it would be called Nadi Shodhana. We use a hand mudra for this practice. We bring the index finger and the middle finger of the right hand into the palm, and we use the thumb and the ring finger to alternately close our nostrils. We'll do this together. So just hover your hand in front of the face. Take an inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through both nostrils. And then close the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale on the left. Close the left nostril and exhale on the right. Same side, inhale right. Exhale left. This is one round. You can close your eyes if you're comfortable. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, one more round, inhale left. Exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, release the hand, inhale through both nostrils, exhale through both nostrils, and then release any effort, return to your natural breathing pattern, and just observe how the breath feels now. What's the quality of the breath? The velocity of the breath? And what's the atmosphere in your mind?
Go ahead, take a deep breath in through your nose. And then sigh it out through the mouth. Turn your palms together in front of the heart center as a gesture of connecting your mind and your body. And then when you're ready, you can gently blink the eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel comfortable. I would love to know how you felt during this practice. If you would like to know more about yogic breathing exercises, if you would like more explanation, there's so many wonderful techniques. So just leave me a comment, let me know, and try and repeat this video several times and just observe how it feels after a while. If this is new to you, do not strain anything. Just kind of give this process a little bit of time and I can really recommend adding this to your practice. It's such a rewarding practice, very good for your well-being. So let me know what you thought. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.